Hey, super learners. Um, happy New Year. Happy Lunar New Year. Um, Gung Hei Bak Choi um, in Chinese or um, in Vietnamese. Chuk Mong Na Moi. I'm, I'm practicing that one. Um, so I'm really excited about today's story. Um, it goes along with our Lunar New Year uh, in this specific version is Chinese New Year. Um, but it also reminds me of another set of stories that we already read earlier this year. Um, so let's see if you can figure out what story it reminds you of um, as we read. So the name or title of our book is The Runaway Walk. A walk is a big cooking pan that's really big um, to fit lots of things. <clears throat> and the author is Ying Cheng Compassine and it is illustrated by Sebastia Serra. The Runaway Walk. One Chinese New Year's Eve, a poor couple sent their son, Ming, to the market. Trade these last few eggs for a bag of rice, said Mama Zong. Mama Zang, excuse me. Then we can make some stir fried rice to share with the neighbors. It won't be much of a celebration again this year, Papa Zang said with a sigh. You'd think that by working for Mr. Li, the richest man in Beijing, we would have enough to invite everyone over for the New Year's feast. Ming hurried off, eager to do his mother's bidding, so what she asked him to do. It saddened him to see his hardworking parents being cheated by the greedy Mr. Li. So there's this guy, Mr. Li, he's the richest man in this place in China called Beijing. And um, he's being greedy. He's keeping all of his money and all of his stuff to himself, which is not cool. As he walked, he daydreamed about what a real feast would be like and how nice it would be to have just one new toy to share with his friends. A small old man stopped Ming near the market. Hello, son. I see you have some eggs there. I will trade you this walk for them. No, said Ming. I need rice. Besides, your walk is rusted and has no handle. Just then, the walk sang out. Boy, boy, trade for me. I am more than what you see. Ming had never heard a walk sing. He thought, hmm, this walk is magic. If it can sing, it must be able to do other amazing things. So he made the trade. The old man sauntered off, chuckling happily to himself. How do you think Ming's parents are going to feel when they when he comes home with a wok instead of a bag of rice? Mm, let's find out. <clears throat> Ming's mother wasn't happy. Why did you trade for this battered old wok? What are we going to cook in it? Before Ming could answer, the wok sang out, mother, make me shine so bright and you shall have food to share tonight. See, mama, said Ming, it's a special walk. Let's do what it says, said Papa Zhang. We're all hungry. So Mama Zhang washed and polished the walk until it sparkled. Then she set it on the table. To their surprise, it rolled off the table and out the door. Where are you going? cried Mama Zhang. Skippity hoppity ho, to the rich man's wife I go, sang the walk, and it briskly hopped down the road. Okay, this is the first part of the story that makes me think, it reminds me of another story that we read this year. I'll give you a clue. Run. Run, 
fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Good. So honestly, the first part where he's talking about the trading, this kind of reminds me of Jack and the Beanstalk, where Jack had to go sell his cow. Um, and his mom said, go sell this cow. We'll get money and do things with it. Um, but somebody said, hey, sell me your cow and I'll give you these magic beans with the beanstalk and the giant and all that cool stuff up there. So it's kind of like a combination of stories. So the walk is hopping on down the road to the rich man's wife, he goes. <clears throat> the walk skipped all the way to the Lee kitchen. Mrs. Lee was overseeing the servants prepare the New Year's feast for her family. The Lees never shared their food with anyone. The walk plopped down on the counter. Where did this come from? Asked Mrs. Lee. No one knew. Well, put it to good use, she ordered. It will make a nice serving bowl. So the servants put in the wok, best of stir fried rice, pork dumplings, Kung Pao chicken, steamed buns, and walnut shrimp. There was still room for more. They added long life noodles, ginger fish, and rice cakes. All foods that we've learned about. Yet still, there was room for more. Keep filling it! commanded Mrs. Lee. I must go change for the party. I bet you that's Mrs. Lee, because look at her face. She's got ah. <laughs> No sooner had the servant set the last bit of food in the wok than it jumped out the window. Skippity hoppity ho, to the poor man's house I go, sang the wok as it trotted down the road, brimming with delicious food. I mean, it's about to spill over. And that part kind of reminds me of Robin Hood. If you've ever heard that story, Robin Hood steals from the rich to give to the poor. The Zhang family could hardly believe their eyes. They gleefully, happily, removed the food and set up a big feast. As soon as it was empty, the walk rolled out to their courtyard. Where are you going? cried Ming. Skippity hoppity ho, to the rich man's son I go, sang the walk as it galloped away. I don't know if you've noticed, there are a lot of strong verbs in here. Um, and some really strong adjectives. So remember our verbs are action words and our adjectives are describing words. Um, so describing words, um, gleefully, very happily move, removed the food. Um, roll, the walk rolled out to the courtyard. It galloped away. A lot of different verbs that we, have, we don't hear as often. I'm interested to see what's gonna happen this time. <clears throat> The walk caught up with the rich man's son, Lan, at the market, who, though he had many toys, he never shared them with other children. The walk blocked the road in front of him. What's this? wondered Lan. I could use it to hold all my goodies. And without bothering to find the owner, the chubby boy grabbed the walk. So should we take things that don't belong to us? No, if you're going to take it, you should try to take it to find out who it belongs to. And Chubby, he's got some Chubby cheeks. <laughs> Lan bought fireworks, toy dragons, cymbals, and drums. He piled them into the walk and there was still room for more. So he bought lanterns, yo-yos, and kites. Finally, his weak arms grew tired and he headed home. All right, prediction time. What do you think is going to happen? Let's see. When Lan arrived home, he put down the walk and went to find his mother. No sooner had he turned his back than the walk hopped away. 
Skippity hoppity ho to the poor man's house I go. It pranced all the way back to the Zhang's house with all the goodies safe inside. Ming bounced with joy as he emptied the wok. There are enough toys here for all of my friends, he exclaimed. The wok rolled over to the door and out of their cart courtyard once again. Where are you going? Cried, called Mr. Zhang. Skippity hoppity ho to the rich man's house I go, sang the wok as it spun down the road. The walk arrived at Mr. Lee's shop just as he was counting the money he had cheated out of the poor people of Beijing. It leaped through the window and landed on the counter in front of him. Well, here's a nice pot to hold all my money. Mr. Lee put handful after handful of gold coins into the walk and there was still room for more. He dragged out a bag from under his counter and dumped all those coins into it too. So here are the gold coins. Mm. No sooner had Mr. Lee emptied the last of his coins into the walk than it jumped out the window. Skippity hoppity ho to the poor man's house I go. It scooted down the road all the way back to the Zhang's house with all the money safe inside. Ming and his parents danced with delight. They invited all the poor people in Beijing to their New Year's feast. Mother Zhang served the food. Father Zhang divided the coins up among the families. And Ming handed out the toys to all the children. In the middle of the party, without anyone noticing, the walk slid out the door. Skippity hoppity ho to the rich man's house I go. I wonder why he's going back. <clears throat> it hopped to the Lee house where the father and mother and their spoiled son were weeping and wailing and blaming each other for their misfortune. When they saw the walk, they jumped up. There's the walk that took all our food, cried Mrs. Lee. And my toys, whined the boy. I'll break it for stealing our gold, vowed Mr. Lee. The walk sang out, I dare you three to try and catch me. The Lee family chased after the walk. Chubby Lan couldn't make it very far without losing his breath. And Mrs. Lee had trouble running in her fancy shoes. But Mr. Lee finally caught up with it. To stop the walk, he jumped inside, pressing it to the ground. Now I've got you, he growled. Wait for me, cried Mrs. Lee. I will teach that walk a lesson. There are her fancy shoes, they're high heels. <laughs> Mr. Lee tried to get up, but found that he was stuck tight. When Mrs. Lee grabbed his legs to pull him out, she slipped into the walk too. Chubby Land finally arrived, <sighs> had a breath. Whew. Help, help, pull us out, cried his parents. Land grabbed their legs, but lost his balance and fell inside with them. Hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sounds like a mess. Skippity hoppity ho, too far away I will go sang the walk as it tumbled down the road with the Lee family inside, legs waving in the air. So what just happened? The walk is taking the, the selfish, grumpy, grumpy, chubby people away. <clears throat> Dragon dancers, drums, bleh, 
Dragon dancers' drums boomed, cymbals crashed, and firecrackers banged, drowning out the Lee family's cries. So because it was so loud, nobody could hear them. No one noticed as the walk sped off to the distant hills. The Lee family was never seen again in Beijing. As for the Zhang family, they opened a shop selling walks of all different sizes and styles. Every year, they hosted a glorious New Year's feast for all of their friends and family. And to think that it all started with a rusted walk with no handle. So most walks, as you'll see in here, um, have handles on them to hold them because they're, they're really big, heavy pans um, for, for cooking. So um, that was the runaway walk, um, or as I like to call it, the walk filled with other stories. <laughs> um, so it, like I said, it kind of reminded me of Jack and the Beanstalk, um, the Gingerbread Man, and a little bit of Robin Hood, um, kind of all mixed in one Asian celebration. Um, so the runaway walk, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, happy Lunar New Year. Gung hei fak choi and chuk mong nam moi. Keep practicing. I'm going to keep practicing as well. Um, but I hope this year of the ox brings you um, plenty of good luck, prosperity, and wealth. And I will see you later. Toodaloo.